We live on a planet whose crust is miles thick with rock. Rock is the basic unit that makes up our solid earth. It supports everything, from the ground we walk on, to our oceans, our deserts and mountains. When we talk about rocks, we're also talking about minerals. All rocks are made from more than one mineral. Geologists define a mineral as a naturally occurring solid that has a distinct chemical composition and consistent internal structure. Minerals can be elements or compounds. Gold, silver and diamonds are three examples. The earth is constantly changing and so are the rocks and minerals it contains. They get redistributed and recycled over and over again in a process called the rock cycle. Over millions of years, rocks are continually made, changed and destroyed. At the surface, people break down the Earth's rocks and put them to good use. Throughout history, we've learnt to depend on them. Today, they help cover our roads, support our buildings, and decorate our lives. Forces of nature also take their toll on rocks at the Earth's surface. Wind, water and gravity are always at work to wear down or erode the rocks around us. The results can be very dramatic. But for all this destruction, new rocks are constantly forming. Some particles of rock get deposited and hardened into sedimentary rock. Others get buried, compacted, heated and recrystallized beneath the Earth's surface. Temperatures are so hot at great depths in the Earth that rocks and minerals often melt and become liquid. Over time, the liquid cools, creating new rocks that eventually get pushed to the surface again. Sometimes this process happens quickly during events like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. But most of the time, it takes millions of years. As a result of this ongoing cycle, the Earth holds a tremendous variety of rocks that differ in the minerals they contain. They vary in color, texture and permeability, and so on. Geologists study these rocks in search of valuable clues about the history of the Earth. Like rings in a tree, they hold information about past environments and the events that formed them.